All right, so here is me coming into the frame, real awkward, trying to make a cool intro. But anyways, here we are to talk about the head and ways to style the head. So here are some of the ways that I've been styling my head. Three ways, in fact. Yay. All right, so number one is the pirate wrap. Named that because I've often looked like a pirate while wearing this look. Uh, first thing you do is just get your bandana, any bandana really, um, or anything that has a square shape, and then you just take two of the corners and cross them over diagonally so you get this little triangle shape. Then you wrap that around your head and do a little knot at the base, uh, like so, and we just tucked in the little um, extra pieces from that knot. And then you just take the big flap and also tuck that in, and then as well, same thing with the sides, just kind of curl them in so that everything is covered and the head is not exposed. And for extra emphasis, here I am just imitating a pirate. So you don't also look like a pirate. Number two, the tank top turban. Wow, look at that alliteration. Uh, tank top, yep, grab any tank top and uh, don't do what I do here, but do what I do here and put it on upside down so that the hem is on your going on your head and then you twist the rest of it until you can wrap it into a donut sort of shape and then use the little arm string twist it around a couple times make it extra secure and then wrap that around the donut to make it stay more tightly on your head it's crazy how well this one works it's like they knew this is what it was going to be used for number three the classic wig now normally when you wear a wig you're supposed to wear a wig cap but i could not find mine so i just put the wig on without such uh, and wigs are actually, they're pretty nice. Um, like you can do a lot with them. You can have them braided or, you know, straight, whatever. The whole, whole bunch of things. But um, in the summertime, it's pretty hot. So that's why, that's the only downside. And that's why I resorted to options like one and two. But overall, if you're going to like a fancy event or something, they are pretty fun to have. Wow, those moves though. So yeah, that's about it. Just a few of the ways that a bald girl like myself gets around in the world and doesn't just bear her bald, shiny eggness. I didn't really think this intro through. Ex outro. Wow, you can kind of tell, can't you? Well, thanks for watching. I hope this was insightful in some way or entertaining, perhaps, maybe not, but informational at the very least. So, anywho's, I would like to make more like bald related videos. I just don't know what's interesting and what you want to know. So if there is something you'd like to know, please comment it down below and I will see what I can do. Cause I, I mean, I just think this would be fun. This is kind of like who I am now. I've been bald for over a year and it hasn't grown back really at all. You can kind of see it's just like some little fuzzies, but not really. So I have had to adapt and just embrace the bald life. So um, there's a lot more things now that I know this year than I did last year. So with that said, uh, yeah, just please comment down below anything you'd like to know. Hope you're doing okay. Um, I will see you next video. Uh, yeah. Bye.